Hello everybody, the Fluffy Mane here and thank you so much for stopping by on this channel. For today's video, we're going to open up this beautiful Ailey Trainer box. But just before we get started, let me know what you think of this channel and this video by subscribing to this channel, leaving a like on the video and don't forget the notification bell if you want to know when I will post some new Pokemon video content. Let's start this opening. So for today's video, if I'll show the play Matt, we have the beautiful Mew. I'm going to finally open up this beautiful Ailey trainer box with the beautiful Mew as mascot in the beautiful Ailey trainer box of Fusion Strike. It took a while but finally this beautiful Ailey trainer box is here and I'm very happy to see this. Mew was one of my favorite legendary Pokemons in the beginning and I had a beautiful Mew Pokemon card pulled one time when I was younger from a Japanese fossil booster pack from Japan which was given to my aunt but then I lost my beautiful hollow Mew which I pulled from that beautiful set and that's why Mew is always going to be dear to my heart so when I heard that they had this beautiful product of the beautiful Mew. I was very happy. So I am very happy that I could get this beautiful AD trainer box too. Let's check on what we can find here. As well as always in the back, we do have the booklet in Fusion Strike. There are a lot of cards that I really like to have but I'm not very lucky always with those Ailey trainer boxes so we have to see what we can get. We do have all the beautiful products and the eight booster packs and then I'll show off what we can find in the Ailey trainer box. So let's open it up and then see what we can find. Removed it from its plastic and it's amazing to see how pink it is with purple and blue. I think the contrast is pretty and then here on the inside we can see all the beautiful booster packs like Gengar, like Mew of course. Then we have Genesect and Boltund. They have a lot of my favorite Pokemons in this set. Then we have the player's guide. We will check on this one later on. First have a look on the beautiful AD trainer box and it feels extremely textured in comparison to the older ones. So I'm very happy with those. Look at that. And they have paid also some extra things here on the details on the inside. So which is awesome. Awesome. Then we have the outer carbon which always protects everything and I think that they have paid a lot of attention to make texture of this too. And we have our Pokemon trading game card rule booklet. Wondering when they're going to change this up though because battle styles is already way up. Then we have a lot of energy cards but they still have fairy in it. So that's very funny. Then we have oh the beautiful dividers though. That's cool. They have different printings in the double sided. That's very very nice. Not really sure which one I do like, but I do think I like this one just a little bit more than the whole size of Mew there. And Mew is so cute. Then we have the newer code cards here too for a Sword and Shields Fuse and Strike Ailey Trainer box. There you all go. And it's very cool to see now that they have the different borders. So I have really no idea now anymore what kind of color border is going to be different and how it is going to be different in the TCG. So if you do all know, then please let me know. Then we have our Mew sleeves. I love these sleeves. I do have so many sleeves so I'm not really sure what to do with all of those. And see from the glare they still have it matte finished. I do like the clear ones more than the matte finish but it's still okay. I really think that they have made this a beautiful sleeve. Then we have our burn and poison marker. I do miss my dice. There they are. That's awesome. They have like the tie dye effect and the beautiful clearance on the dice. That's amazing. I love to collect these. And then we only have our eight booster packs left. See if we can have also different packs there as well. So we have beautiful Bolton, Free Bolton, Mew, Bolton, Gengar, and Genesex. We do have four Bolton. That I do like Bolton, but giving four. And then two Mew, and then a Gengar and a Genesect. And then we have here the booklet there with the beautiful picture of Mew. And then we can see here we have that beautiful hollow butterfree right there. Hope to pull that one too. But they have so many things. Look at those with the golden cards. It's ending on 284. So that's 
a lot of cards. It's one of the bigger sets from Sword and Shield. That's the Jace card, the Espeon V Max. Or even Gengar, because I really like Gengar too as a Gen 1 Pokemon. Or Mew, that Espeon is so pretty. And then we have a lot of the full art. We also have the Ball Thunder. We also have the alternate art of the Greed End, which I think that's Clovet is so cute too. And the beautiful Celebi. So there are a lot of beautiful cards that I would love to pull from this sets and even just the regular cards are amazing look at that bolt in there look at that mew so i think fusion strike was really such a great set to have but it also get quickly together with celebrations so it's all going very quickly with the tcg never knowing when to get a lot of new things because pokemon is extremely quickly on releasing a lot of new sets so i'm still trying to enjoy with whatever is out or with what is coming out i do hope that one day brilliant stars that it's around my birthday so I do hope that I can get my hands on those too because they are looking so very beautifully but we still have a lot of other products that has to come out which is delayed at a lot of times so that's why you can see a lot of newer products that I'm trying to open might already be out in your country but here in the Netherlands it's getting delayed all the time so let me all know in which country you live and if the products were delayed at your country too leave it all below the comments and then we're going to start opening them up just because we have a lot of Boltons. I want to start off opening up with these two. End up with Mew. So I'm going to trim out all of these packs first and then let's start opening. There, we cut out all of the booster packs and let's start opening. And if we do pull something nice, I want to give an additional extra code card as well. So it's also always very nice to see all the newer cards though too. Let's see what this can be. We have a beautiful quick ball. We have a Barrascuda. Paparaccia. We got a beautiful Pansir. We have Monkey's deck. Oh, we have Gumi. And it really fits with the dragon there. So I'm very happy the dragon is back. We have an Aracuda. Ah, beautiful Schnabel. Got Geodude. Got a reverse Sandy Guest. And we start out with just a regular Vika Volt with a Fighting Energy. That's such an amazing card. Look at that. There's another one there too, just right there at the back. So love to check always and on those details on those cards. There you all go. Even on the regular cards. So go on with a next Voltan. Wondering still, Pokemon, why you didn't give two packs of each, but that's okay. Three from the back. Start off with Judge. Excadrill, got a beautiful Trevenant, that's an awesome card. Got a Galarian Darumaka, Indeedy. Oh, we have the cute Growlithe there. We have a Phalanx, maybe we can see Vulpix and Ninetales too. Got a Hungry Morpeko, got a Reverse Clampearl, and we start with this Claydol with a Water Energy. That's still amazing. One of the first products that I open up from Fusion Strike. There you all go. And then check on here. We have here a white border, and with the other one we also have a white border. So let's see with the next Bolton if that is what it is. Check on here. Oh, we do have the Ninetales. That's such an awesome card. Really like dog and cat like Pokemon, and with Ninetales it's really beautiful there. Got Tokenamaru, got a Quick Ball, got a Pensage, Hulu, and Jam, Galarian Darumaka, Indeedy. Our reverse oh, is Wulu. You never can go wrong with a Wulu too. And oh, we have Arcanine with a water energy. That's awesome. Look at that dog and cat like Pokemon. <laughs> that's amazing. Although Wulu is not a cat, but that's awesome. I love this rare. There you all go. So we don't have anything special yet. So I do hope that the last Boltan can give us anything. So let's see. We start off first with this Garbodor. Pukimuku, Eldegoss, Mankey, Clauncher, we have Growlithe, ah, oh, got Stubble in the night, looking at those stars, I think, so that's pretty. We have Sigilith, got a Reverse Galarian Zigzagoon, that's still cute. And another Claydol with a Lightning Energy, it's from the Boltons pack there too. Okay, does that mean we will might pull anything nice in all the other packs? There you all go. We do start here with a Genesect. I'm not sure. Let's see if it can bring us any luck. We start here with 
Cook, a new trainer card. Got McCargo, Charger Bug, Sizzlepeed, Lefki, got a Pansage, Hulu, Pancham. We have a Reverse Augalarian Meow. That's awesome. And we have a Palosand Rare with a Leaf Energy. So nothing really special there too. Got the code card here. And then we still have three packs left. We still have two Mews and we have here a Gengar. So see if this Gengar can bring us any luck. But I'm getting to doubt that this Elite Trader box, I'm not sure if it's lucky, but we still don't have these cards. So for everything now, then it's fine. Let's see if we can still have any luck. We have here Chili, Silen and Cress, Copperacha, Zoroark, Santru, Qfun, Impidim, Snom, Onyx. You have a lot of new cards. We have Deoxys. And we have Oricorio with a lightning energy. That's still awesome to see Oricorio back. It was a long time ago to see Oricorio. There you go. And we only have two packs left. No hollow, no nothing. So see if those last two packs with Mew can still give us any luck. I'm kind of doubting though, but still see. We have a Simipore, Metapod, Battle VIP Pass. Aw, got Jigglypuff, Durant, Pansir, Minen, and Plusle at the back. We have a Beltoy, got a Reverse, Pancham, and oh, we have a Hollow Stormy with a Dark Energy. That's at least something. That's pretty cool to see. Beautiful. Stormy there. And I like the rapid strike there. So we do have a hollow at least from a Mew pack. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> do you have a code card here for our fusion strike? And this one has a black border. We finally have something. And because we have something special, I want to give this code card for our burning shadows. And then let's see if we can end up with this beautiful Mew with a last pack magic. But I do still have a lot of fun opening up newer sets because you never know what you can get. Let's see. Oh, there's the other Ninetales card. We haven't even seen Fall Picks yet. But already seeing two different Ninetales is amazing. Then we have a Farewell Bell, Lopani, Snom, Onyx, Jigglypuff, Durant, Pansir, got a Reverse Bell Toy. And we do have Last Pack Magic. <gasps> we have a Gengar Fee with a Darkness Energy. Look at that. That's amazing. We still end up with something nice. I am very happy. So Mew came true for its own Elite Trainer box. So sleeving up this beautiful Gengar. I'm also very happy that it's Gengar. So we have here the code card for Fusion Strike. And because we pulled a beautiful Gengar, I want to give an extra code card for Hidden Fates. This Elite Trainer box was giving me the chills already of not knowing if we were able to even get pulls, but we finally did. So I'm very happy with the outcome of this beautiful Elite Trainer box. Let me all know if you were able to get this beautiful Elite Trainer box too and what your beautiful pulls were. If you do like this content and you want to see more Pokemon video openings, then don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and I really like to communicate with all of you. So leave some comments below. I really want to thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you all in the next Pokemon video. Thank you all so much.